Okay, so we're going to do a quick maintenance video on the trailers themselves and what you need to, you know, maintain, look after, um, keep an eye on that sort of thing. We are dealing with uh, mechanical motors, so the, the, the more you maintain them, you keep them maintained, they'll do very good and last you a long time. If you don't maintain them, they'll give you nothing but grief. Uh, so for the compressor here, very simple. So you want to change your oil on your Honda engine here once every 100 hours. Uh, we recommend synthetic 5W30 for that. There is an oil drain hose on the back of the uh, compressor here. So it's led you to just take that nut, that nut off there, drain your oil out, and then fill it back up. And your fill port on the compressor. So your fill port on your compressor is down here. This is where you check your engine oil as well. So like I said, every 100 hours you want to change the oil on that. Now on your compressor head, this you're going to want to change the oil. I recommend doing it twice a year, every six months. Um, typically start of spring and start of fall. Uh, that way it's before both your busy seasons. And you're going to want compressor head oil, synthetic compressor head oil only in this. And uh, that you can pick up roll air, those sort of places, auto, auto parts stores, but it has to be compressor head oil for, these, for this one. Um, this is your fill port right here for your compressor head oil. And this is your sight plug down here to see you know, if you're getting low on oil or anything like that. It should be sitting about halfway through the circle there. And when you fill it, that's where you want it to be, is halfway through the circle. <clears throat> and that's about it for maintenance on the compressor. Uh, if your belts do get loose, um, you can tighten them. It's just literally uh, a matter of spinning these little knobs here, slide the cage off, then you can get in and uh, loosen off the bolts on the head, pull the head back, tighten them back up again. Um, that's how you replace the belts and everything as well if you need to. Now, next maintenance is going to be on your vacuum itself. Um, so again, we make, try to make things fairly simple. Down here, we have an oil drain hose. And you're going to want to change your oil on your vacuum every 100 hours as well. <clears throat> so there is a tack here, a tack and an hour meter, which gives, tells you how many hours it's been running. So every 100 hours, again, five synthetic 5W30 for this. It's the same as this. Um, it's probably good practice and habit to get into is if you're doing an oil change on this, do an oil change on your compressor as well. Do them both at the same time, then you're done. And... Uh, and then you know you're good to go. But keep that maintained at every 100 hours and you should have very little problems with these. Um, your dipstick over here for checking your oil. And then your fill port's right here. It takes about 2.8 liters. I'm not sure what that is in gallons for you US guys, but uh, 2.8 liters for this one. I'm not sure exactly how much goes into the compressor. Uh, a lot less, I know that. It's probably about a liter, liter and a half. And, uh, and that's about, and then that's your maintenance for the engine itself. Now your other maintenance is going to be on your drive system down here. So your bearings, you have two bearings here. Now you're gonna to wanna to put synthetic grease in these, a good synthetic, um, grease is you know usually good we usually supply you guys with an extra tube of uh, what we use it's called a super lube and uh, it is unbelievable stuff if you can get your hands on super lube use it because it's really really good now inside beneath this uh, coupler guard here is where your actual uh, fluid coupler is now there's a jaw coupling inside there and inside that jaw coupler you got some rubbers so it's basically a jaw that comes together like this and spins. And between those teeth are some little rubbers in there. And they will wear out. They should last you about a year. But um, you're going to want to check that periodically. I tell guys when you're doing your oil change, just check your rubbers as well. And that's simply enough. Just reach your hand in and give it a little push. And you'll feel a little bit of play in that. There's not much play. Like it's... You know, right now this thing, this unit's brand new and there's not even a sixteenth worth of play in that. Um, when you find that that play is getting, is, 
increasingly bigger up to the point for about three eighths of an inch play then you know your rubbers are fairly worn out and you're going to need to replace those. Uh, there will be a, we will be posting a video on how to replace those so just check the video out on that when you need when the time comes to do that. And so that's your maintenance on oh and with your fluid coupler you will need to replace the oil in that once a year and uh, when the time comes for that, there's, uh, we'll also have another video on and replacing the fluid in that. It's very simple and easy to do. Uh, and that's a hydraulic 32 oil that we put in the fluid coupler. Um, other than that, that's your engine maintenance really. Then it's just more of your uh, equipment maintenance, which is going to be your plenum and your bags. So you're gonna to wanna to get up periodically and shake out your bags, clean them out, get them down. Every once in a while, you might want to take them off and throw them through the uh, uh, laundromat as well, and just give them a wash out, put them back on. And also check, you know, once in a while, take a bag off and have a look inside your plenum and see if you have a buildup of dust or anything in there. And if you do, you know, just take a small broom or something and then sweep it to the back. Uh, generally, it's not too bad. Look, most of the debris is shot to the back and drops down. But if you do find that you're getting a bit of a build up, just push it down into the drum back there. Okay, so you're also gonna to wanna to inspect your fan blade at least monthly. Uh, if you get in the habit of just when you're doing all your maintenance, you know, make that part of your maintenance check as well. It's just having a look in here. Uh, there's not really much need to remove the guard, but simply just sort of look in, have a visual inspection and see, you know, have a look at the welds and make sure they'll look good. Uh, these fan blades are fairly indestructible. They're made of 316 steel. They're harmonically balanced. Um, you have to worry too much about them, but if something should get in there and, and bash it around, put it out of balance, it's gonna be, cause you catastrophic failure. So you just wanna keep an eye on that. Make sure everything's good. Just a, it's just a quick visual check. Check the welds, make sure you don't see any cracks. There's no, you know, if your blades aren't, make sure the blades aren't bent, that sort of thing. A uh, good habit to get into for that. And that's about all of the maintenance you need to do on these trailers. Um, <clears throat> one thing to keep in mind is keeping everything free and clear of the vacuum itself here too. You want some airflow. These are air -cool cooled engines. So you do want some airflow moving through here. Get a good habit of leaving your man door open and letting the breeze blow through either way, whichever. And, um, but don't be stacking shelves and all things all over top of this and blocking the heat in because uh, it will start to give you troubles if that happens. So keep the area nice and clean around the vacuum here so it allows air to move through. Uh, key, key important part that you're going to want to do with this. And yeah, that's about it for the maintenance on the trailer.